It's officially cold, cold. Like ice fishing cold. It seems like every year around New Year's is when it really starts to get down below zero. After getting up to the ranch and getting a fire going, I usually try to spend about 10 minutes decompressing my back, my knees, my ankles. And then slowly preparing for the work day. I then get to decide which one of my three favorite jackets I'm going to wear to work in. Cedars tried to throw away my old brown jacket a couple different times, but it's just so warm. My new black jacket that I bought over the summer is too light. Then there's my handmade sheepskin coat. I made my sheepskin coat about 12 or 13 years ago. And on one of the coldest days while living in Arizona, I tried to wear the jacket around town and I got from my house to the truck before I nearly had a heat stroke. Today it's supposed to be a high of 17. I thought for fun I'd throw the old sheepskin coat on and wear it around for a few minutes. But even still, it's just too warm. I paid $75 for the sheepskin, stained it and made it myself. And it's fun to look at hanging in my closet, but the truth is my old brown coat, even though it's got holes all over in it, even when it gets wet, it just gets the job done. I usually throw a can of food on the stove or some leftovers and let it get warmed up. When it's this kind of cold, it always helps to have something warm in the stomach. But I really want to get the siding finished. Like a lot of projects that I do, I seem to get it better the second time. After thinking about how I did the tin around the back porch, I decided there's a better way that I could do it. And I also decided that I wanted to have the rust side out on the tin. When I tore that tin off the old mink shed, one side was face up and covered with leaves and dirt, and the other side was face down. Obviously the side that was face up was worn, had a little bit of rust. The side that was face down looked like it was brand new. That's the side that I chose right by the back porch, but it just looks too new to me. I also recognized that I could put about a quarter inch notch in the wood frame around the tin and it would hold it much more secure than the way that I did it on the back porch. So as usual, I'll take the back porch apart at some point in the near future and do it in a way where it matches this side. It's really hard to work outside when it's this kind of cold because my toes and my hands start to hurt. But wearing my winter hat, my head starts to sweat.
It's a vicious cycle between my ball cap and my winter hat throughout the day. When I get an idea like this with a tan, I usually get on the internet and try and find something similar somewhere. After looking at a few examples, I then tried to decide if it was gonna look right. But the bottom line is sometimes you have to just try it. Now the worst case scenario is if at some point down the road we decide that we don't like this and we decide that we want to do stone, it wouldn't take but maybe an hour or so to remove all this. But I don't think that's going to happen. This is one of the few things that I've done around the house that I immediately loved. This next week should be an interesting week. I will get laser focused on the electrical and there's really not a whole lot left to do. I need to get the addition wired up. I need to get some exterior plugs put in, things like that, but most of it's not that technical. After putting down some of the criticals on the to-do list, there's a real good chance we could get in here a lot sooner than we thought. Okay, out of all the projects that I've done on the property, uh, there's, there's a lot of things that in my head, I know that when everything's finished, it's just gonna come together and it should look great. But every once in a while, I do something and I just stand back and I'm, I'm in love with it, I guess, for lack of a better word. And this is one of the things. Uh, the tin, let me tell you what I did different between the back porch tin and this, uh, I don't know, the, the addition side of the tin. On the back porch, I put the side out uh, that was uh, protected. Frankly, I put the side out that was uh, face down on the old uh, mink shed that I tore down. Um, the more I thought about it, the more I looked at it, I decided to put the uh, side up that is uh, that was the side that was, um, frankly, it was under a whole bunch of uh, leaves and dirt. And there's, there's little pieces of it that got some rust on it and it's got more age to it. It's not so reflective like, like this is over here. And I love it. Uh, the other thing that I did is in a few spots, I got some of the Mesmer stain on it. And when I went to uh, wipe it off with a rag, it actually gave it a really good look. And so at some point I'll bring uh, Cedar up here and we'll talk about whether I should maybe just rub all of it down with some of that Mesmer's. And it's not real shiny, but it should give it kind of an interesting look. But pro probably more than anything, I'm just going to leave it. Um, I love it. It's the perfect look. Um, I did the addition side different than how I did this, um, the, the back porch. So I'm going to, you can see that corner, that edge right there is not finished. So I'm going to have to... Um, pull some of that trim off and just kind of adjust it. What it ended up doing is I, I was able to do it a lot tighter. So the tin's not going to be prone to, to flopping around if the wind blows. And, and so again, I'll have to change that. But for the most part, I'm done outside. I'm not going to do really anything else on the uh, outside until it's springtime, until it's warm. Uh, when that window shows up, it's supposed to be here next week. I will uh, install that window and I will slap the last two pieces of trim uh, of siding up to be done with that. 
Um, and then at some point in the, uh, in the spring, I'll take the lower three feet off of the rest of the house and finish doing the tin around it. That's, that's how much we like it. Uh, the one, um, I guess the one issue, myself and Cedar sat on the computer last night and looked at a bunch of different um, houses where people have used some version of this. And the trick is gonna be not going too far with it. Um, I, I like it so much. Uh, we've considered doing you know, a backsplash on the countertop with it. I've considered doing this around uh, on the shower, which might be fun. But uh, I don't want to go too far with it. I don't want to use tin to the point where it, it becomes, I guess, maybe obnoxious or maybe too, a little bit more industrial than we're trying to look. But, but as far as how that, uh, that lower few feet turned out, uh, I love it. it it's, uh, again, one of the few projects that I just stood back and I, I had the thought that that's exactly what I should have done. So uh, next week, first part of next week, 100% uh, focused on electrical. And as you can see from the checklist, if I maintain that schedule nine weeks from now, we should have um, the option to move in here. Um, I guess there may be some little things here and there that I'll have to get done, uh, but uh, I, I figured spring, I figured early spring, we'd have the option to move in here. Um, I'm, I'm afraid to put a deadline on it, uh, but at the same time, I feel like if I did put a deadline on it, I'd probably be more likely to hit the deadline. So uh, myself and Cedar have got to have some uh, serious talks about this. I really need to sit down with my mom as well and, and have a heart to heart with her about it. Uh, we don't want to leave her high and dry in her house there. She's been good enough to let us uh, stay in the, the house for the last uh, almost a year, I guess. But again, this, this has always been the focus to get up here and get living and to start figuring this lifestyle out um, we're not, this isn't a part-time thing that we're trying to do. Uh, this, the second that we're living up here, I think it's going to dramatically change my kids' lives for the better, uh, our life. And uh, again, we can learn to, to figure this whole thing out. So I'm really excited to, to, to get a date, maybe written on that uh, whiteboard and to get super focused on how quick we can get moved up here. So happy new year's, you guys. Thanks.